One of my children, I, I won't mention names, has a bad habit. He's verbally compliant, meaning that he receives direction or correction. He nods his head in agreement, but he does not change anything. It's bizarre and it's really frustrating to us as his parents and it doesn't help him move or grow moving forward. Well, to be honest, most of us followers of Christ have the same bad habit and James addresses it in the beginning of his powerful letter at the end of chapter one when he encourages us to be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving ourselves. This topic, this concern of believers being verbally compliant yet unmoved in action is carried on into chapter two, but he points us to the heart of the issue, our faith. When someone says they believe, yet they do not display their belief, it's reasonable to question their sincerity. It's reasonable to question whether they really believe at all. Unfortunately, this is a real tragedy in the church today. We preach a loving, merciful, and gracious God, but we often display a critical, rigid, unloving action towards those we're trying to reach. We tell others that we love them, but we do little to display that love. To this, James says in verse 17 that faith by itself, if it does not have works, he says is dead. When Abraham was asked to offer Isaac up to the Lord, it was no small thing to comply with. Yet Abraham demonstrated his faith in God by complying and yes, obeying the Lord's command. Abraham believed God and then demonstrated that belief by obeying. James tells us in verses 21 through 26 that faith and works, they're attached. They're one and should be seen together. So church, may we go forth amongst the world knowing that we are justified by faith in Jesus' finished work on the cross, but displaying that faith with word and deed, truth and loving action. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.